Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Terrifying Tuesday on this channel where we talk about all things horror. And today we have to talk about the Chucky Season 3 trailer that just dropped. So I'm going to break down a little bit of that trailer for you, let you know what I think is going to happen. So let's jump right into it. We will be talking about some things that happen in Chucky Season 2. So if you have not seen that or are currently watching it to catch up and don't want spoilers, step away from the video for a few seconds, catch up, come back to us. We're here. We'll wait. And if you are ready, here we go. All right, everybody. So the official trailer for Chucky Season 3 dropped and it showed us a few things some we already knew but some we didn't quite know if we were getting them or not such as would the original group be back we all kind of knew they would but this trailer showed us that Jake, Devin, and Lexi are all coming back and that they are getting a phone call from Chucky and they are going to be on their way to Washington, D.C. because Chucky has taken up residence in the White House of all places. Devin Sawa returns as the president this time. This marks the fourth character he's played. You might remember his previous characters have all died. So we'll revisit that in a second. But Tiffany has been carted off to prison, which we kind of knew was going to happen. Caroline was taken by Chucky at the end of last season, if you remember. She kind of had turned on Jennifer Tilly. And what was really funny in this trailer is that she's saying some of the same lines that Chucky has kind of told people to say throughout the film series. I'm your friend till the end. And Caroline actually says, I'm his new friend till the end. Now, there's a couple things I want to talk about here. Because while this trailer is amazing, and if you haven't seen it, you need to check out that trailer. It is awesome. But here's what makes it awesome. The little subtle hints that we get all are leading to something. That is that Jake, Devin, and Lexi will in fact be trying to get into the White House and trying to make the President of the United States believe in a killer doll. And then you have the President of the United States played by Devin Sawa who is actually the person that never survives. Every single one of his characters has met with a violent death and that means that this character is going to be no different. This character is going to meet with a violent death too. And I think that is going to be interesting in of itself. Because he's playing a very powerful character with an entire army behind him. All the Secret Service and the, all the people of the White House staff. And here we have this situation where they could be brought down by one little doll. It's a terrifying and yet just brutal scenario for season three. Because that's the other thing. They seem to be leaning into the terror aspect of it this season. Them going back in to this darker aspect of the movies of the earlier movies is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be something I feel they needed to do at this point. But here's where I think that's coming in. And I don't think a lot of people are seeing this or talking about it yet. And that is that Caroline thinks that she is Chucky's friend till the end. But Chucky actually wants to be in the White House for some reason. Now, either he has a either he has a past with the man who ultimately becomes president, 
which I kind of doubt, or he's decided that he needs to get a political stature going for himself. I think what we're going to see is that Chucky will try to actually possess the president's son. And that's why he handpicks the president's son in the series. However, that means that little Caroline isn't safe because this is an early on thing. He, he is holding on to her as a backup while his real goal is to possess the president's son and ultimately gain enough power to do whatever it is that his twisted mind has come up with. So that's what I think is going to happen in the series. I think we're going to see them lean in a little bit more into the darkness of it all. And we're going to see where this sort of vibe comes in of him trying to possess the president's son while keeping Caroline as a background character, keeping her as his own personal backup just in case things go wrong. And when you think about it that way, that comes a little dark because we know what happened to the last little kid that he possessed. We saw it in the movies where... That little kid eventually was murdered because little girls that get uh, scarred up from killing people and such aren't cute anymore. And it just becomes this thing where now we're looking at him doing the same exact thing to Caroline and Lexi, Devin, and Jake all have to come in and try to stop him. But the question is, will they stop him? Because... He has two kids now that he could potentially possess. And that ups the ante a little bit in terms of what he wants to do, of what he wants to accomplish. And I always say, when you're doing more stuff, you always have to up the ante. You always have to raise it up to that next level. And this season looks like it may have just done that. But... I want to know what you guys think. So make sure you're leaving us that comment in the comment box below. Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can be a part of the conversation as well. Then friends, make sure you're hitting that like button. It's free. It helps the channel and we appreciate it. Then Miko says we need more subscribers and you don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell while you're down there. And remember... At the end of the day, I know it, you know it, and Miko knows it. Fandom is family.